about a chorus. What is a chorus? A little part. It's a, the beat of the breath. I've got an idea a little bit more. The main part. Like, like the part that sticks in your head and stuff. Exactly. So you put the meat of the song, yeah? Yep. I think that's a good explanation. What else? Tell me, tell me other things about a chorus. Catchy choruses that are repeated. We're going to do a lot of writing down, but ultimately you're going to sing it, and we want the listeners to hear it. It's sticking <coughs> your head. I would like you now to pick your title that you're actually going to work, and then start doing some lyrics to your, to the chorus. Okay? So this is where you start really chatting amongst yourselves about what your song's about. Okay? <laughs> No, it's easy. Yeah. We like sort of finger bit by Lugo losing my love. Those about the last 10 to 11 years, the principal song structure of chart hits has changed. And it is sitting currently at this. This one chorus, first two chorus, dub chorus out. Um, hardly anyone's riding a bridge. Yeah. Hard, and that seems to have disappeared for top 40. So often I'll say, say well, we'll start with this format. Um, you know, the innov it, there are all sorts of innovations, there are all sorts of differences, but that's currently where popular music as a, as a mass is kind of going. What are you looking at? What, what do you know about the verses? Yeah, it's kind of where we've got the details, details of the story, if you like. And we want lots and <coughs> lots of details. First one, I actually call it a killer first line, and that's because of the first thing you want people to hear, you know? Um, lower melody, maybe no melody, or none. Um, then the chorus. Try and develop um, contrast between verse and chorus, so... Um, this is the place we don't use repetition. The thing I find that people get quite stuck with is the difference between verse 1 and verse 2. This is like, this, you set the scene. And this shifts the story on. So there needs to be some movement, some change. Particularly over here, you've got, you've, you'd set up this kind of conflict situation. So, just keep asking these questions, alright? If you get stuck. I remember we want to we want to shift the story along, okay? You don't want to rhyme at the expense of losing your meaning. Right. All right. Yep. So false rhyme is used a lot. What you can get away with. What I like about this is that you, you, you're starting to, to give us quite a lot of information, okay? So we're going, well, something's gone down. This person's quite. You're telling us about the character too. <coughs> Selfish, there's some angst that's gone on between the singer and the person the singer is singing about. Okay, so that's that's using a lot of these questions, alright? I'll be very interested to see where the story goes. <laughs>